Let's talk about Bandai's 1,500 scale Star Destroyer. Today, Bandai has released a promotional video of what I think what everybody was waiting for to come out from Bandai ever since they acquired the license to begin building and some uh, you know making uh, Star Wars model kits and I would have to say I am very pleased with this announcement very very pleased it actually goes back a few about a couple of years ago when Bandai did a promotional video and they were showing off um, their latest you know acquisition and what they were releasing um, obviously the vehicles from Star Wars from Empire Strikes Back from Return of the Jedi from New Hope and of course from Rogue One that was coming out at the time um, they were also showing off mo um, um, updated model kits for the new um, sorry uh, uh, um, Force Awakens and The Last Jedi I don't think I no actually The Last Jedi did not they didn't make any model kits I believe so no, they never made any. No, oh, look, I, th I think Kylo Ren's ship, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Well, regardless of the case, they were making those kids. Um, and during that time of the promotion of the video, at the last f maybe few seconds of the video, they were showing one of the, um, you know, one of the representatives of Bandai looking over a prototype of the Star Destroyer. It, it, they even said it right there. They, they, they didn't mention scale or anything like that. They just say prototype. And for that, for by, when that came out, I was saying, "Oh, please, Bandai, release, release this big boy." But as years passed, we got two, we got three Star Destroyer model kits. First of all, this one. This is Ravel's one four thousand scale Star Destroyer. This came out in the height of, of course, uh, for, uh, Force Awakens, and, and I think no, sorry, not Force Awakens, uh, Rogue One. And it's a decent model kit. The only difference is this is not a model kit that you would like to put, you know, get. It's it's only like 20 or 30 bucks. It has these little things that pop out for stands. And as you can see, I actually detailed it and painted it and whatnot to give it that look. It's not as detailed as what we just saw on the video. And it doesn't stay right. But it does have this little unique feature, which I'm about to find the stupid button. Oh, the buttons are here. Can't complain with that. I kind of like that. Um, then Bandai released this. This is the... I would say the Mecha Collide version of the suit of the Star Destroyer, and even at this tiny little scale, look how well detailed this is. That that is sh that is sheer Star Destroyer goodness. I've seen people actually uh, modify it and put the LED lights back here to simulate the the thrusters. So that's cool on their part. Then a Russian company. And you're going to have to forgive me, I, I don't know if I can actually pronounce the, the name of the company, but it's spelled Z, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, Z-W-E-Z-A, I'm sorry, Z-W-E-Z-D-A, or Z-V-E-Z-D-A, I'm sorry if I'm saying it very bad, Zavada, I think it's Zavad, Zavad, I'm not good at Russian, I'm sorry came out with a 12700 scale. It wasn't even available to no one here in the States until I believe uh, Ravel got the acquisitions and began making the mold. That That's a big kit. 12700 scale is huge. Huge. But there's no LED lights on that, or I've not seen anything like that. And obviously, those, you know, those who get this kit, they're probably LEDing up that kit. But now, this is Bandai's turn. Now, we want to get now we're getting this guy wow i have to say this is going to be cool the one thing i am curious about is length one five thousand scale um i'm going to measure my one two th one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and a half 
Okay. My current Star Destroyer is 15 and a half inches long. Time to do the math. So 15 and a half inches long. 0.5. Let me see if I can remember the scale. So if that's 1.5... Um, no. So 15 and a half inches long. That's right. So 4,000 divide that up divide that up by 12 it's one for thousand scale oh my god I can't rem forget I, I forgot how to do this conversion is it X If I got it right, 3,096 feet. 3,096 feet is the scale. Um, I think I got that wrong. Because I'm trying to figure out the actual, the original. Because right now, Wikipedia is saying that the Star Destroyer is somewhere between 1,600 and 1,900 meters. Let me just double check that again. Going back to Wiki. Uh, here we go. So the width, oh, the width is five, six hundred meters, but the length is between sixteen hundred and nineteen hundred meters. Okay, let's do the math with that. Uh, we'll do sixteen hundred meters, because I don't think it's going to be nineteen hundred meters, but it could be. Actually, no, 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 no. I forgot. Space, um, super dimensional fortress Macross is also one 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 thousand scale and they're supposedly the same length let me just double check so if I do no I don't want one three thousand I just want to know the is there a macros wiki come on macros wiki where are you there we go All right, so Macross, according to this, is a length of 1,200 meters. Okay, that's good to know. So it's a 1,600 meter. So 1,600 meters, which is technically about three feet, almost a yard. But let's say we'll just do three feet and multiply that or divide that by three equals 533 yards. No, that's not wrong. That's not right. 1600 meters um, 4800 feet 4800 feet hopefully I got that right I'm probably gonna screw this up and you guys are telling me no that's wrong so 4800 feet and divide Divide that by 4,000 equals 12. You know what? I'm, I'm, my brain is going <laughs> to fry out. I'm not going to remember this. Uh, somebody's going to give me the conversion. Because I'd like to know what would be the overall size with a 1,5,000 scale. So will the 1,5,000 scale reach up to maybe here, maybe about 2 inches longer, and maybe an inch wider? Yeah, who does, you know, who can we say? But... That doesn't matter because what matters is this kit not only is going to have the super fine detail that um, that Bandai will put into this kit. We're also going to be seeing custom decal. Um, I'm sorry, custom um, LEDs. Whether they're going to use their proprietary LED set that we've seen is, you know, it remains to be seen. Because remember, in this kit. This has one, two, three engine blocks, main engines, plus four sub-light engines. So all four, all, all seven of these lights will be turning on. Not to mention in the promotional video, we've seen light sources along the side here of the main, uh, main area of this kit. And maybe along the edges of this. I don't know yet. I can imagine there's 
lighting up here as well and lighting up here as well so you're definitely going to be seeing that and I don't know how far more detail we're going to be seeing on the on the actual surface of the ship which also begs to differ since it's going to be bigger will this area be big enough for the um, blockade runner kit that just that's coming out now because I know there's a Mecha Collide version of the Blockade Runner. I think it's about this big. So I, my fingers is like adjusting the size. I don't know if it's for that. It'll probably be some. The the this hangar bay will have to be bigger. That means this kit may be even longer than what I have here. Who knows? I'm I could be completely wrong. Will Bandai f focus on the one uh, on a 1600 meter version or a 1900 meter version? hard to say we don't know nothing yet all we do know that this kit is coming out this summer I am excited for it I'm going to make room I have something here that I don't need anymore as a matter of fact I have a couple of kits that I'm gonna be selling which is basically all the old Star Wars kits and that will be for that plus I'll keep this guy as a size comparison once I receive it so are you guys, are you Star Wars fans, Star Wars builders out there excited of the new announcement for the 1-5000 scale Bandai Star Destroyer? I put a link of the video below here so you guys can see it. I didn't want to post it on my channel. So just click on it, look at it, enjoy it, admire it, and what can I say but may the force be with us when we get this kit. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more Star Wars models coming soon. You guys all have a great day.